I think I know what's going on. Hold on one second. I think I know what's going on in here. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Enes, the more for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to jump in below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment and also each message on my Instagram. And if you are wondering again, why is that? Because simply, I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to spy on your competitor's Shopify store successfully without using any paid tools or anything like that. Because the information is already available to you online and for free. So why should we use any paid tools, right? And also on YouTube videos, all I see is people using paid tools to spy on other Shopify stores or your competitor's stores. However, that's not always the case. You can do that without any tools or anything like that. Because the big tech or the big companies like Facebook or TikTok or all of that, they want you to spy your competitors so you can spend more money on advertising. They make more money by creating competition. That's really obvious. So in this video, I will show you how to spy on your competitor Shopify store. And I have nothing set up for this video or anything like that. I will do this completely from scratch, just like I want to spy on my competitors. So I will go for random products, just like I usually do, because all my videos are live in action. I do not set up anything. And also I don't script my videos. So I improvise and go with the flow and just show you what I usually do. So as I said, I will show you how to spy on competitor Shopify store. However, at first, I will show you how to find competitor store. I will show you a unique trick to find all your competitors, not just one or two, all your competitors. And I will show you the process of how to spy on them and figure out which one is actually selling most and which are not. And as I said, I will do all this live in front of you. And you will see some really unique tricks in this video. So if this video helped you out, help me out pressing that like button. I would really appreciate it. Otherwise, let's just jump to it. As you can see, I'm accessing Google search engine because obviously he is my best friend and I know how to use it. So the first thing, as I said, I'm going to do is find my competitors. As I said, I don't script my videos. I'm going to go for a, a random product, which is product I always go for, I think, which is nylon glasses. So I'll, let's just say I want to sell nylon glasses and I need to find competitors that sell in the same product and me to figure out which ads they run on which platform and most importantly, which products they sell the most and also where they get the traffic from. For example, if they don't get traffic from uh, TikTok ads or Facebook ads from organic, where that organic is coming from. That's also I will show you how to see the information. So the first thing I'm going to do, as I said, is find my competitors. I will use my favorite trick that I will always use and I always used for years, which is uh, powered by Shopify trick. So I'm going to type in in-text two dots and two quotation marks and between them powered by Shopify. And for all of it, make sure to include space. I'm going to add another query. So in this query, I will type in in URL two dots and two forward slashes and between them products, just like you see right now. In this query, we did we will force Google search engine to only show us uh, products or pages, sorry, that have this uh, forward slash products forward slash. And if you are familiar with this, this is the products page. That's how things work on Shopify. So again, we would add another query. Hit space, make sure you, you do include space, otherwise it will not work. I'm going to type in again, in text, two dots, and two quotation marks. And right here, we will type in a keyword that's uh, similar or a keyword that has to do with our product. Or just a keyword for the product. As I said, I'm going to go for nylon glasses and sorry I use this example a lot because as I said, I don't script my videos. I don't know what to go for here. Anyway, nylon glasses. So right now we will force Google search engine to only show us the Shopify store that's selling nylon glasses and directly to the products page. Let's just hit enter right now. And here we go. As you can see, we have over a hundred results and this is all Shopify stores that sell in nylon glasses, which is in my case is my competitor. So we did find our competitors. The next step is to spy on them, which is the purpose of this video, obviously. So I'm going to go for the first one just for demonstration. Let's just scroll down to find another one. Yeah, this is the product here. Somehow I did access the web, this website. I don't remember when. Let's just go for the one uh, below it right here. So we have those two competitors. This one, which is called uh, 3dstereo.com and the second one is called uh, Ruby Olive. 
So they are they are both have to do with nylon glasses as you can see here. This is not the actual I don't know if this is actual product but anyway this is just for demonstration. So let's just spy on our first competitor which is this one right here. The first thing I'm going to do is check his product or her product. I don't know how run this store. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is check the products on this Shopify store. And yeah, he has a lot of products. Oh my god. He has a lot of products. I don't know how. Hold on one second. I think we found a really good example in this video. <laughs> Hold on one second. This is a really good example actually. I think. I think. I'm not sure yet. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me just copy the, the URL here. Just the name for the website which is 3dstereo.com. Let's just open up similar web. If you don't know, similar web is a, a tool that will show you the traffic for our website and where the traffic is coming from and so on it's a free tool but the data will give you is limited but you can get an idea based on that free data however if you like this tool you can sign up for a premium plan it will give you much more data so let's just paste in the website here here is let's just wait for the similar web to do its magic here we go 13,000 visits per month okay so let's just scroll down. It will give you the rankings and so you don't have to, to, to deal with any of this stuff. It doesn't matter to us. I think I know what's going on. Hold on one second. I think I know what's going on in here. So in October, he got 3,000 views. November, 4,000. December, 13,000. And I have experience with SAU. I do still have websites that generate revenue for me only from SAU. And I know the traffic, how the traffic grows in SAU. This is exactly how, if you do the mass working, which is posting a lot of uh, posts and blogs and so on, this is how you grow in SAU. If you do, the, if you do things properly, obviously. As you can see, this is how you exactly grow. And I will prove that to you. I didn't check yet, but I know. I have a feeling, I know this is how things grow in SAU. As you can see, the, the growth is phenomenal. That's how good SAU can be. So 13,000 views in December. And if we scroll down, the first country is France, United States, Malaysia, Canada, Japan, and so on. Let's just scroll down a little bit. It will give you a similar websites to it. Doesn't matter to us. And here we go. So this is what I'm talking about. So 60% are direct. So they access the link directly. And 40%, as you can see here, 40% are from the search. That's why he has a lot of products. So they create products and they optimize the, the description. They optimize the description for it. Let's just get back to similar web. We didn't finish yet. <laughs> so as you can see, 40% of the views are coming from the search. 40% after of, uh, 13,000, how much is that? Like uh, 6,000? It's like 6,000 uh, or 5,000 views. 5,000 or 6,000 views per month, that's, that's, that's a lot of, of traffic. So he's making sales, that's for sure. So as you can see, 40% from the search. And if we scroll down, it will give you the top keywords. And here, as you can see, that's what I'm talking about. It says 100% organic. So all the views are organic, all from the search, as you can see here. So the keyword here, Viewmaster 3D Projector. People are looking for the Viewmaster 3D Projector. And the keyword has six, oh, weird number, right? <laughs> Triple six. So the, the people that are looking for the, for the keyword, the volume for it is 666%. And from my experience, this data is never accurate and never correct even google keyword planner does not give you the correct data so keep that in mind as you can see the second one clock cleaners daily motion daily motion is a website just like a youtube i don't know what's a humbug whale well, vertical anyway this is things cannot be correct on some spy tools that's for sure yeah 3d bookmark rulers uh, nasa view master reels this is a product as well i think so People looking for products and they end up on this website. And as I said, they optimize the description based on those keywords. Let's just copy this. Let's just open up Google search engine uh, word counter, which is a tool to correct writing and also count words. And most importantly, it will show you the optimized keywords for it. 
just paste the description here and here we go as you can see it says keyword density glasses has been used five times light has been used five times new has been used three times glue three times black three times and neon two times and so on so people who are looking for light glasses he will end up on this page and people who are looking for new glasses or glue gla glue glasses sorry he will end up on this page and he got a chance or let's just say there is a chance his uh, product page or his this page exactly will end up on the first page on the search engine so that's completely free traffic and so on the other keywords as you can see so he does optimize the description for uh, SAO which is search engine optimization and that's why he has a lot of product as you can see because you can't make a dropshipping store and promote all these products at once that's almost impossible that's really obvious but we got an idea how he use it, how you use this uh, Shopify store so he get traffic as you can see the growth is phenomenal uh, from 3000 two months ago to 13,000 so that's really good I do have experience as I said in SAO I still I still have do I still have websites that's running SAO but I have never done SAO based on dropshipping and I'm gonna try that after I saw this now I'm gonna try this anyway let's just get back to our second competitor which is uh, Robbie Olive so as you can see this is our competitor the same I will do is figure out the traffic for it but first let's just try different approach because I showed you what I do with this Shopify store let's just try a different approach here so what I usually do is look for links for social media at the bottom here it doesn't look like there is any links for social media here so there isn't any links for social media Facebook or Instagram or whatever however we have the obvious thing which is the name as you can see we have the name which is Robbie Olive so I'm going to copy the name the second the next thing I'm going to do is open up Facebook ad library because Facebook ad library is really uh, flexible and it gives you a lot of data if you know how to use it and I will show you that in a moment so after I access the Facebook ad library I'm going to go for all countries and on ad category I'm going to click on all ads let's just paste in the name for them let's just remove this is the page I think I don't know if this is the page yeah this is the page uh, uh, Ruby Olive as you can see here so this is the Shopify store which is in this case our competitor and this is just for demonstration so the first thing I'm going to do is recognize all the ads that's running take a look at them and see what they are doing or what kind of videos or pictures they have or what kind the content of the ads and the second thing I'm going to do is check how long the ads are running so this one has that running on 24 January 23 23 all the same all the same all the same however some of them have two ad sets as you can see this one it says here two ads use this creative and text okay has been running since two, uh, 23 January but two types of ads this tells us an idea which is this has been a little bit successful that's why they did multiply it because the reach is really low they need to multiply it and target another interests or keywords that's why they did multiply the ad set with the same text and the same picture and from what i think i think the picture of the dog like this uh, the dog like this looking at the camera and holding this in his mouth just like looking for his owner that's really cute i think this picture got them uh, clicks or got them conversions that's why they think this ad might be successful that's why they uh, use a second they multiply the ad set with the same picture and text and I think they did target a different area and a bonus tip if you did find an ad that has been running like two months ago or a month ago that's a winning ad set and this is if that's not a brand actually if it's a brand that means they can get more exposure they can promote it forever they will always be winners anyway but if it's a competitor Shopify store that's selling a specific product like yours that's how you tell based on how long the ads is running no one will test an ad for two months or one month that's really obvious so that's how you spy on your competitor Shopify store without using any tools or anything like that 
And as I said, if you guys have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment and also each message on my Instagram. And if you are wondering why is that again, simply because I'm working for you. Otherwise, I think my job is done. And thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.